Hi and welcome to this on shape tutorial. Today we're going to look at the challenge in the bottom right hand corner and we're going to look at whole tap types. So whether it is a clearance, okay, a tapped hole or we're going to look at a drill hole as well. So on the bottom we have a number of different tabs. The one that's active at the moment gives us a quick overview of the different activities and if you click on the icon for YouTube you can access the YouTube tutorials. You've got a tab over here which gives you a quick overview of the different resources and tutorials available and you can click this link to go to the main okay, YouTube page for other tutorials. We have a tutorial tab here which has got a part studio which we're going to apply the techniques and then we have a reference model which we can use uh, during the tutorial to uh, reference. So what we're going to look at now is creating holes and different types which is for a tapped, a drilled and a clearance. Okay, We've looked previously at a simple hole, a counter bore and a counter sink. If you haven't checked that video out, check that one out. But what we're going to do now is look at a bit more detail. So if I click on the right, or sorry, the front plane and click on section, I can then see a quick section of what these actually look like, which is a bit easier to see. So if we have a look at the first one and edit this, we've learned before about these different types, okay? And then we, okay, just chose a simple, okay, drilled. So what we're gonna look at now is we're gonna look at a tapped. So once again, once you've selected and placed where you want this hole to go, okay? And you've then decided on which, okay, at the bottom here which parts it's going to be applied to you can then choose in here tapped so tapped again okay, and depending on the standard you've chosen so i've chosen iso will give you a few options at the bottom here so i can decide on what metric size i want to choose so whether it's an m12 okay m8 m6 or whatever i want so you could choose m10 for example you then depending on Again, the standards and the sizes you've chosen, you'll have options for the pitch. So in this case, there's a one millimeter, 1.25 and one and a half. And the pitch, okay, is sort of the coarseness of the, uh, the tap toe or the thread that it would be creating. So if you've got something at one mil, that's a finer pitch thread than something that's one and a half mil. And it's important that if you're placing a fixing into a hole like this, that you match up the pitch, okay, from the hole to the actual fixing. If you don't, okay, then your fixing might not go in, uh, or if it does go in, okay, you may not be able to get that out. And also it can damage, okay, the actual thread which is created between these two parts. So it's important that you match up, not just only the size, but actually the pitch. The other option here, We've got two options for what I've selected is 50 and 75. And this is the engagement. So how much engagement, okay, is your fixing going to have with, okay, the threaded hole? So that's the easiest way to explain it. And I just tend to leave that on 75%. We then got some other options here and we'll look at those when we apply them now. So we're gonna go over to the tutorial uh, I'm going to turn on the sketch here, which basically shows these points where we're going to place the holes. And then I'm going to click on the front and add a sectional view and confirm that. I'm going to go up to hole and we're going to select this first one here. I'm going to just going to go for a simple. Okay. And we're going to go for a blind. I've chosen the standard of ISO, but this time we're going to go tap and we're going to decide on what metric size we're going to use, so M10 for example. We just talked about pitch, we just talked about engagement. I'm going to leave those as is. So when you're creating a tapped hole, even though that is um, a metric 10 hole, okay, because you're wanting to create a, a threaded hole inside there, the actual drill size is always smaller. Okay, It is not the same size as the metric size. Okay, It's got to be smaller, so when you've actually drilled it, you then have, okay, material to create the thread in, okay, into that. If it's the same size, okay, the, the drill size is the same size as uh, basically the metric size that you selected, okay, you, you can have nothing to create a thread into it, okay? 
So here it's telling me for a metric 10, it's eight and a half millimeters. So I don't have to go and try and find a drill chart for, uh, for M10. I don't have to go on Google and try and find that. It automatically tells me here. If I update it to say M14, okay, again, the drill, okay, diameter size will update. So I'm just going to put that back to say M10. There you go, eight and a half millimeters. You've then got a few extra options in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to, first of all, the scope, I'm going to say I want it to affect both the top and the bottom. It's not going to do that yet because it's too short. So we talked about diameter. The next one is the depth. So if I type in, say, 65, you can see that that is now affecting both of those, okay, because of the length, but also the scope, okay, what I've selected. In here, it automatically updates this, the tap depth. So basically saying is we've got a hole which is 65, okay, millimeters in the top, okay, down to there, okay, the total length, and what it's saying is here is you're basically threading, okay, or tapping that hole, should I say, to the depth of 60.5. Because what it takes into account here is some clearance at the bottom. So if you type in a different number there, okay, it's then going to change these values, okay, at the top. So what it's doing is saying, right, okay, actually I'm going to increase the total depth, okay. If you put this to say zero, all right, the, the depth and the tapped length will be the same. So if I update that, those will be the same. Because basically it's saying you've got a 65 millimeter depth and you're tapping it right down to the bottom. Okay, and that also depends, okay, obviously on the type of tap that you're going to use. So you have to think about, right, what size is it going to be, it's drill size? For the metric size and then you've got to think about what type of tap you're actually going to use as well and that would determine okay if you need to leave a clearance and i might say we're affecting both of those and i can confirm that and i can obviously give that okay a name so we can type in here that this this is a simple okay m10 uh, and we could even put in the pitch if we wanted to and we can even put you know if you don't want to put that you can even put you know the depth Okay, of that, whatever you want to do to be able to identify that, okay, and confirm it. And it creates that simple, okay, threaded, okay, or tapped, okay, hole. If you need to go back onto it and edit it, you can do that anytime by clicking on edit, and you can update, okay, the options depending on, okay, what you want to change. And then again, we can tick that and it will automatically update. If you've created a drawing, it will then ask you, okay, to update your drawing and all the labels on your drawing will be updated from what you've changed here. So you don't have to do a drawing again, for example. So that's, um, okay, a simple sort of blind tapped hole. If we have a look at the next one, if we just come out of that, okay, we're just gonna create a drilled hole. Okay, so we're gonna look at a drilled hole. We looked a little bit at this last time, but I didn't go into too much detail. So if we go to hole, Select that. You then got options here if you want a counterbore, for example, and then you've got options here. So I'm going to go through. So that's going to go through both of them right through. Okay. You then have got the option to be standard and what you want. So I want to go for a drilled hole, and then I'm going to say, for example, it's going to be drilled to 12 millimeters and confirm that. And then this dimension here will automatically update. Then all it's saying is right. Okay. For that drill size of 12 millimeters, what size do you want the counterbore to be? And you can update that if you wish. You can see that goes bigger. And again, what depth do you want for that as well? Okay. So that's just a simple drilled hole. It's just got right through each drilled, okay, to 12, okay, millimeters. That's it. And we created a counterbore all the way through. And again, you can select this and say, uh, I'm going to go for counterbore, okay. Uh, 12 millimeters and you can type in through All right that creates that and again you can right click on it and edit it or delete it if you wish so we've done a simple one there which is ready then we've just done a countable one which is okay all the way through drilled now the last one we need to look at is say a clearance hole 
So we're going to click on the hole again, tell it where we want to start that. It's remembered my last, okay, details. I'm going to change those in a minute. And I, for example, I do want it to go, okay, through um, both of these uh, parts, okay. But this time we're going to go, okay, blind again. And we're going to choose, okay, clearance. Okay, like so. Actually, I'll tell you what, we might go through all again. Just to do a through all clearance hole. It's going to ask me, right, what size, okay, do you want it to be? So it's looked at the standard and say, right, what size? I'm going to go for so M10. You'll notice, because this is a clearance hole, this size is different here and it's just updated. You might think, well, okay, before when we looked at tapped holes, the drill size is smaller, okay? Because this is a clearance hole, and if you imagine, say, I put a, a bolt in here and I wanted to bolt these together, and I'm going to have a nut on the end, okay? The hole size is determined, okay, a little bit by the size you place here, but also about the fit. So if you're going to put a bolt through there, for example, if you want it to be a nice, tight, close fit, if you click close, you see it goes closer, okay, 10.5, it's only 0.5 millimeters bigger than the metric size I put in there. So that's going to be a nice, close, tight fit. It's going to go, it's going to pass through. You still be able to pass the bolt right through, okay, and put a nut on the end. If you click on normal, it gets slightly bigger, so it's a slightly looser fit, so a normal fit. And if for some reason you want it, okay, you can go for loose fit, then it will go to 12, okay, millimeters there. All right. And then again, you've got your options for your counter ball here, or if I type in countersink, okay, it keeps these other settings here, but it gives me the option of changing my countersink size, okay, if I wish, okay. But because I've typed in a certain, okay, size there, it's gone to custom, all right, as you can see. So you could do custom holes as well. So what we've covered there is a simple sort of uh, blind, okay option of a threaded okay or tapped hole should we say we've covered one here which is just a drill hole and now we've covered one here which is a okay clearance and again we could type in here that we want this to be a clearance hole and we could type in the size or whatever any other details we want okay now the last option we need to look at and i'm going to use the we'll edit this one is I have been choosing here, okay, through and blind. What we've not looked at is blind and last. So I'm gonna go blind and last, and I'm gonna choose a count sync, and I'm just gonna leave that fine. So what this does, again, it allows me to choose my standard, and it's giving me the option here. So do I want just a drilled hole, or do I want a clearance, okay, and then a tapped? So what this is here, this is a clearance. So the fixing is just passing through and then it's going into a tapped hole. Okay, which has got that sort of internal thread in it. Okay, so then right, you can you know, join these two together in that way. So I'm gonna go clearance and tapped. Again, you can choose your size, your pitch. You've got options in there. And then you've got your fit. So your fit here this time is depending on what fit you want up the top. So I might say, actually, I want a quite a loose fit at the top. You see that will expand to 12 millimeters, so it's slightly bigger than the M10. We've then got the option of changing the countersink if we want, but that's the standard for M10. Again, the angle. And then this time we've got here, it's telling us for that M10, okay, it's gonna be eight millimeter, okay, drill. Okay, so that size down there. And then we're going for a depth. So the depth, okay, I'm going to change to say 55. Let's have a look what happens there. Okay, so that's the depth of that. Okay, all right. We then say, right, what tap depth? Okay, so we've got a hole of 55 millimeters. So if I change that to say 25, you will see it easier. There you go. So it's 25 mil there. Okay, so it's not from the top. Okay, it's actually looking at the actual distance okay of this section so remember that's clearance so now this is okay you're tapped so we've got 25 millimeters there and it's saying right do you want it fully tapped to that 25 millimeters you can say yes 
If you don't, you can type in okay, 2 there, and it will extend the hole to 27.5, okay, and then it's only tapped to the say about there, which is 25 mil. So there you go, you can see we're binding and lashed. It gives you a combination, okay, of those options. Right, you can see there. So you can have a clearance, so the fixing passes through, and then, okay, it is then goes into a tapped hole. If you untick that and you have drilled, again, you have some options. All right, so I put in 12 millimeters there. Again, you have different options depending on, okay, what you want to set. But it's very good if you want to have both a clearance, okay, and that then going into a tap toll, as you can see there. So that is everything covered in terms of holes, okay? All the styles, all the terminations, obviously you set your standards, your types, your sizes, your pitch, and so on, okay? And any of these can be customized, okay? As soon as you edit any of these, okay, it will then come up custom, and then you can click the tick, and that is a custom, okay, setting. So there you go, so that's all those types covered. Thanks for watching, and if you found this content helpful, please click like and subscribe, and also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description. I'll see you on the next one.